Hello Rangers! Rubble Games here, back in Wasteland 3. Just loading in. So last time out, last episode, we made the decision to side with the Gippers and essentially turn Valor Buchanan, the Patriarch's son, uh, into the Reagan AI. So his consciousness has been completely overridden by the Reagan AI. And uh, if you notice now, we have... Um, uh, do, 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 do. Where's the... Yeah, so... The Zealot. We now have to return to the Patriarch at his palace in Colorado Springs. Uh, yeah, Valor has been overwritten by the Reagan intelligence, and the Patriarch needs to know. We'll return to his place to report back. So... That's where we're going to have to go next. So this ought to be a very interesting conversation. I have a feeling the Patriarch is not going to be happy with us at all. But that's okay, because that's the decision we've kind of made. I think we've decided that we're going to go the Angela Death route uh, side with... Um, I think that's going to mean we're going to be siding with Liberty. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Um... So yeah, so off we go. We're going to head back uh, to, I think he's up in the um, Broadmoor Heights area. So we're going to go into Broadmoor Heights and go talk to the Patriarch. Uh, this ought to be interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what his reaction is. And, and then, of course, how we're going to react to it as well. And what kind of excuses we might be able to make. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the game offers us. Um... I may have to look and see. I may have to invest some points into kiss ass before I go up and talk to him. Cowboys, it's dead red talking at okay, you again. Come back on our private channel, yeah? All right. Uh, so, let's see, Colonel. Uh, so I guess you heard the news. Heard you pushed Val out of his own brain. Clever move, cowboys. Congratulations. Okay. You managed to kill the boy. Because let's not lie, that's what it was. Without pissing off the Gippers. And you don't want to go pissing off the Gippers. Not when they control all the gas and oil in Colorado. Interesting. So Angela Death is supportive of this move. That's kind of cool. And now Val won't be wandering around like a prize bull, giving people ideas. Boy never was the sharpest tool in the box. But any kid with Buchanan for a last name could be dangerous with a smart operator behind him. And those Gippers may be crazy, but they ain't dumb. Hmm. Uh, okay. <clears throat> How did Val end up with the Gippers? There we go. You'll never believe it, but his dad sent him there. Got tired of having him underfoot, and so sent him off to be some kind of science ambassador. That's when they got their hooks in him. <laughs> so, so... The Patriarch basically screwed himself on this one. Okay. Nobody ever appreciated him at home, but the Gippers love-bombed him. Made him think he was the second coming. Huh. And now, and now I guess he is. <laughs> sort of. Exactly. Now let's talk about the other one. Okay. Uh, you mean Vic? Damn right I mean Vic. Good guess there. A whole lot of innocent people have died thanks to that psycho son of a bitch. He's killed men just to check if his gun is loaded. You'd be doing the world a favor if you made sure he wasn't in it anymore. You're advocating murder? I know it's ugly business, but I ain't just being vindictive. From a, what do you call it, political perspective, any child of the Patriarch is a destabilizing force on the region. If you want peace in Colorado, the Buchanan brand has got to go. Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Thank you, cowboys. You're easing my mind. I'm wondering if we're getting played by Angela Death. Is this really Angela Death or not? I'm starting to be suspicious here. So, we'll we'll see. And now I better mosey. I'll be talking to you. Dead red over and out. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm not sure if this is uh, if that's actually Angela Death or not. But we'll 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 play along with it for now. Alright, so we need to go back to Colorado Springs here. So, off we go. 
again. By the way, I love the speed of no better feeling than being loved, is there? And that's what this song is all about. Alright, so yeah, I love the speed on the truck. Um, it's really good. We'll explore around the overland a little bit more later, but for right now I want to continue on with the storyline here. Your dreams were your ticket out. Alright, there's little areas up here where we can go off and get things, I'm sure. To that same old place you left about. Well, names have all changed since you hung around. But those dreams have remained. Usually those little side roads and things like that have, uh... My name is Bo Hu, and this <laughs> here is vengeance for what you did to my family. Oh, boy. Okay. Boy stands in the head. So this, okay, so again, we'll tie back again. When you have heads or tails types decisions that you do, um, there's usually a consequence to it. So we went and we checked out the Hoon homestead a couple episodes ago. Uh, it was demolished. Apparently there was a survivor here, Bo, Bo here, and he's blaming us for not coming to save his family because we prioritized the uh, the marshal's power armor over uh, his family. So. A boy stands in the headlights of the Kodiak, an RPG pointed directly at you. His head chest heaves with anger. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, only assholes make fun of an orphan's dead family. Assholes like you, apparently. Inbreeding did worse things to the Hoons than we ever did, kid. <laughs> so, this is the total jackass response right here. Okay. Uh, kids got spunked. Disarm him and let him go. <clears throat> Floor it, run him over with your car before he gets shot off. <coughs> Kids got spunk. Disarm him and let him go. Let's do that. I'll find you again. You won't see me coming. And the boy is uncowed as you hop out, walk up, slap the weapon from his hands, and drive off. Alright, so we may see Bo a little later, but you know what? <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't bring an army with him next time. <laughs> Again, why I love this series so much is because the uh, little, little things like that are just fun. Get to mess with people, and yeah, you know, it is what it is. You hope it's not too cool. Alrighty. Da, 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 da. Give me the thing. Okay, we're going to go to Broadmoor Heights so we can go up to some Patreon. We still got to deal with, there was that guy that we ran into outside of Ranger HQ. And I got to find his wife somewhere because I think there's a, we need to disarm some bombs or something like that. So we still need to follow up on that little issue. I, so just haven't seen, I got to go find her in, in the HQ somewhere too. So we'll go talk to the Patriarch, see what he has to say. And um, then we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I feel he's not going to be very happy. Team November. With this. Okay. I just went by R and D and saw some pretty crazy new gear, just ready and waiting for you. You should head back and see it when you get the chance. Cool. Over and out. All right. Well, hopefully we're not as disappointed as last time. Um, pretty disappointing set of uh, equipment that we had in our in our in our armory last time. But maybe there's a different. That's area the last time anyone saw the Patriot. He was down at the old air base to greet the Rangers. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Okay. Yep, up in here. Welcome back, Rangers! <coughs> Alright. Yeah, I have a feeling Patriarch is not going to be much happy with us at all. That's a heck of a nice chair he's got there. Bunch of missiles, American flags all over the place. Look at that. Even before they rebelled against him, the Patriarch's children were not known for their filial piety. I've never even heard of that word. Uh, interesting. I'll have to look that one up. All right. The Patriarch's bust statue. Looks like a much younger version of the Patriarch. We got elite guard, elite troopers. 
Elite Enforcer, Plasma Turret, Heavy Machine the Turret. The to get posted here is so full of themselves. Okay. I'm assuming we need to... There's computers over here. We haven't actually explored this area much, so... You're yes. clear for public areas only. Okay. So probably not. That's not, probably not a public area. <laughs> Unless, of course, we kill the patriarch here. Um, smaller version of the giant of the giant patriarch statue in Market Square. Maybe this was the prototype. I'm assuming the patriarch is up there. There he is. Okay. Sniff around here a little bit. The patriarch likes it quiet in here. So do we. Door is not locked, so let's take a look over here. Breather tank claimed from the body of a breather 2106. Saw arms, scar collector arm from the Battle of Pumpkin Center 2097. This is like his uh, trophy room. And my Rome family and I were invited to dine with the hmm. patriarch a while ago. Seemed a bit sad at that table, all by his lonesome. Okay. Patrick still has chairs around his dining table as if he's waiting for his wayward children to come home. Looks like the war banner from some forgotten planes gang defeated long ago. From this base is clean and shiny. The back is caked with dust. Interesting. The mask of the Cyclops, last warlord of the monster army. An old rubber monster mask. Is that dried out? He is that a dried out head inside? Ugh. Okay. Very large shoes. Uh, genuine Payaso footwear. Spatter with genuine Payaso blood. Uh, what's this? Polite parlor pastimes. Pages upon pages of games playable in less than an hour. The games of all random chance have been crossed out. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not sure if that is something we may need later or not, but uh, interesting. This one. Okay. All right. I think we have explored some of the areas here. Let's go talk to the patriarch and take whatever punishment we have uh, in, on this. Rangers, welcome. How are you settling in? Uh, let's see here. Face you gave us is a, is a death trap. Uh, things are a little bit chaotic around here, huh? Uh, everything's going great. Thanks again for all your help. Not at all. Now, what can I do for you? I'm getting a little lag or something here. Um, okay, the situation with your son Valor has been resolved. We have some other things to report. We have some questions. This okay. The situation with your son Valor has been resolved. Resolved. How? Yeah, he's not gonna like this. Uh, the Gippers transferred the mind of their god, Reagan into his head. Uh, but what does that mean? Is Valor alive or not? <clears throat> no, the Reagan personality overrode him completely. In other words, he's dead. I told you to bring him back alive. Rangers, you work for me, not the goddamn Gippers. Jesus. <laughs> He's not happy. I hired the Desert Rangers because you destroyed the base Cochise AI. Because you brought down Finster. Because you do the impossible everywhere you go. He's so not going to be happy with us. But saving my son, one single half idiot boy, was too hard. Keeping him alive was beyond your legendary capabilities. <laughs> he is so mad at us. If I had any other option, I would send you back to Arizona in pieces. Unfortunately, the job must still be done and there is no one else to do it. But if you harm any more of my children, there will be hell to pay, Rangers. Understand me? Hell. Now, anything else before I throw you out? Uh... Yeah, that concludes our report. Breakers. Yeah, he's he's not very happy with us. <clears throat> Immaculate and adamant. Okay. Anything else up here we can look around at? Let's see. Let's 
sleeping elite trooper. Dusty roster, uh, duty roster, sorry, dusty roster. Duty roster, terminal access restricted, okay. So I need a ner nerd step seven. All right, so we're not gonna do anything with that right now. What's in this locker? Army machine gun, some 556 five, ammo, sure, we'll, we'll grab that. Yeah, I should, could be uh, pushing myself here a little bit. Sleep. Okay. And we got a leak trooper here and a fusion turret. And the, oops, the leak trooper is guarding this grenade box. I'm assuming he's not going to let us in there. Stop! Alright, fine, fine, fine. I won't give him another opportunity to yell at me. That tends to trigger them when you do that. Puzzle guy? Scuttlebutt is. He's been trying to get rotated into her unit. <laughs> oh, we gotta make this happen. You you ever see Roz go all ice queen on some poor soul? It's like, I can't even describe it. Careful, or someone will think you got the hots for Roslyn. No way. I just appreciate a nice evisceration when I see one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, um. I know we're on break, but keep your voice down. All right, all right, out of here we go. Okay, so let's uh, head on back to Ranger HQ. Uh, here we gotta move the whole no group up here. Moves. Understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll head back to Ranger HQ, and let's see what our uh, new equipment is like, or. Uh, the R&D with, with that comes up. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to end up in our... When they were when they send us messages like that, because the last time they sent us messages, they say, hey, we got a whole bunch of new gear, and we went into the uh, the shop, and or in the uh, equipment shop, and there wasn't a whole lot of new stuff there. So maybe that's general, maybe just some of the vendors get upgraded. I, I, maybe that's the case. Um, but it wasn't, just happened to, didn't have to be our weapons uh, vendors. Come in, Team so. November. We have a situation here with a group of women. Their families were arrested and the local authorities aren't telling them what's going on. Think you can help? Uh, we know we can help. That's our job. Okay, if they got the cash, we have the time. Uh, tell them to take it up with whoever's rest of the family. Okay, uh, we know we can help. It's our job. Your mostly unpaid, typically thankless job. Yes, that's the enthusiasm these gals are going to need. <laughs> There's an opportunity here to show the women of Colorado that if local law enforcement isn't treating them fairly, the Rangers can set it right. HQ, over and out. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Where's our... They added more guards, looks like. All right. We are going to head all the way down here. Down to here. Yeah, I did notice. I, I didn't go in and uh, update my kiss ass at all, but I didn't didn't have a check in there anyways. So that's okay. I think most of that was just scripted. If you make those choices, you're gonna have to deal with it. There's no common. There's not gonna be any way to calm him down. So the patriarch that is. Um, Colorado Springs is a rare, fully functioning society in post-apocalyptic America, but many harsh sacrifices have to be made in order to maintain it. Yeah, like pillories out in the cold. <laughs> One way of having some justice, I suppose. It'll be interesting what the uh, news caller is going to be saying as we pass by him as we go through Colorado Springs. It would be nice to have a direct link between Broadmoor Heights and Rachel HQ for any of those things you can just travel quickly. Uh, having to do this run through here is kind of crappy. Gippers resume oil shipments. City power restored. Oh, there's something I want to check out really quick as we are thinking about it here. This guy up here. 
Before he said it'd be nice to get the oil back, and so let's see what happens now that we have oil and power. If there's something that we're yeah, gonna get. For the lords of the races to buy up and turn into playpens. Seriously. Uh, hello again. Here to learn more about the Colorado Springs Wall. Okay. Did the oil from the Gippers help the wall? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Immensely. Why without it? It's just sections of concrete blocks. Easily scalable with cheap and readily available equipment. With the oil, we can power the electric grid, making it a deadly threat to anyone foolish enough to try to climb it. Especially robots. Thank you again for making that a reality. Cool. All right. Uh, Believe me, I understand. Thank you for... <sighs> so, yeah, so now their wall is nicely powered with this electrical grid. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Anyways, just wanted to check. I was assuming there would be a small change there, so... Come on. Rangers broker oil deal. Gippers reconcile with Colorado Springs. You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Come on. All right. Ranger HQ. Here we come. Let's see what we can see. So while we're in here, let's go check out and see if we can resolve that other uh, husband and wife who have the quote-unquote bomb vests on, the ones that are not bomb vests at all. Let's see if we can resolve that. Servitors in the war room started their watch before the deluge of fire. Yeah, yes they did. Ah, <coughs> oh, shoot, my dogs. My dogs are becoming a regular part of this video series now, so <laughs> I again apologize for that. Uh, just pause, wanted to pause the video. Oh, ah, okay. Here's the here's the ladies. I think slaver trappers, slave hunters, slave enforcers. Got some business for you. Okay, La Perla, a woman stands like a queen among a gang of hard men. She gives you a sleepy, dangerous smile. <laughs> Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business, huh? A girl I own ran away recently, and it's proving hmm. harder than expected to track her down. She seems to sense us when we get too close. <laughs> On the other hand, she'd never suspect. Hell with your reputation for rescuing little lost lambs, she might even seek you out. So, what you say? Hmm? Want to find her for us? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not liking slavers. I don't think I'm gonna side with the slavers. Uh, girl, you own? Are you slavers? <laughs> that bothers you? You find it unethical? You kill crazy corpse-robbing, tyrant-funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? Sorry, compadres. This is the end times. Nothing but us devils left. Okay. What's in it for us? You can't seriously be considering <laughs> taking this monster up on her offer. Let's see ya. Settle down. Leave matters of business to the adults. You know the sealed rooms in your base? Bet you're curious what's inside them. Mm. Bueno, I'll tell you for free. It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. And... I know the codes. Damn it. In the name of good faith, I'll give you one now. Nine zero zero. Nine zero nine three five zero zero. Test if you like. I'll wait. <laughs> uh, I do want to know what's in those rooms. You'll get the second code, the one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. So this is when gonna get us access to the Ranger HQ my basement. Lost little lamb. All right.
I didn't know about the sea of roofs. stay here all the time before we moved east. Had plenty of time to explore all its nooks and crooks. Hey, eh? don't worry. She talks too slow. No hard feelings about you taking it over. We like our new home on the plains. Yep. Those warlords have a lot of money to spend. What's the girl's name? No. Hallie, I think. Anyway, her new owner will rename her. What's important is her description. Early 20s, blonde, shapely, skinned like a princess. You'll know her when you see her, I promise you. She'll make your little hearts go Peter Pat. <laughs> You'll get the second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. I wonder if she's the one that's in the um, in Little Vegas. Maybe not. Or or New Vegas. Um Yeah. Not a problem. Adios. Okay. Padres. We will check that out first. Uh, let's talk. Okay, here's the private uh, private blues. What the hell is private blues? Chicken dance over here. Cha, chi cha, chi cha. The hell? Okay. I don't know what private blues is doing, but okay. All right. Uh, do do do. You're gonna come over here. Chicken appears to be po posturing and nothing sidestepping. Nothing sidestepping or circling an invisible opponent. Fear of status confinement. No, the world. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, I think there was a spot over here. Dig some stuff up. Okay. Cool. Private. Boys over Kid here. Victory sounds like a bad apple. Okay. Much more junk we can grab. Okay. Let's see. Didn't uh, I thought our dude over here? Okay, Tom Red. I need some. Yes, Rangers. I'm so glad you're back. My wife and I need help. Raiders strap bombs to us with some kind of proximity trigger. They're okay. near each other. They'll blow up. Where's your wife? I think she's over by the big entrance. I'm not sure because we know if we get too close to each other, we'll be turned into wall smears. I miss her a lot. Over by the big entrance. Okay. Thanks, Rangers. We thought we were dead for sure. She... Where is she? Isabel Red. Okay, here Rangers. she is. Rangers. Over here! Please help me! Oh my god, Rangers! I thought I was dead. My husband and I need help. These psychopaths tied bombs to us. But if we get near each other, they'll explode. Okay. Uh, examine the bomb. As you move closer, she scrambles no! away. No! The failsafe! You have to disarm both bombs at the same time, or they'll explode! Send someone over to my husband, please! Okay. A uh, quick look at the bomb is all you need to realize is mostly duct tape and red spray paint. If there's any actual explosives in there, the flimsy twine attached certainly won't detonate it. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so. Um, I thought we were going to die for sure. Do, do, do. I know we got guys. We need to level these guys up. Uh, he's got our explosives here. So I think I'm going to send Cyclops. Oh, don't. Son of a. So, control normally. Control normally allows you to multi select things. However, in this game, holding down control is an attack move. So, damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's heal Lucia up. Uh, Lucia, what do you got here? You got this up a little uh, internal bleeding? Yeah, not, not surprised after, uh, you know, Cyclops unloads a nice spray of automatic fire weapon on you. Uh, 50 
Cal automatic fire weapon on you, so not not a fun time. Injury kit. Hey, let's do that real quick. All right, always fun times. Okay. See, you y'all better now? You good? Okay, good. Yeah, let's get the uh, what a uh, little bit of uh, stir fried pork back in here. Good. Okay, that'll work. Okay. Instead of doing that, let's take uh, Lucia over here. Let's here to take serve. Cyclops over here, and I think just the two of them, with the badger, is gonna be able to run over here. The rest of our team is gonna run over here. We split them up. Get up. Open fire. Yep, that's what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting. All right. That's fabulous. Jeez. Apparently, I did not get. Uh, well, that must have been Doc. Somebody call the marshals. Call the marshals. She she dropped two dogs on us. Yeah, you're not doing anything over there, Private. Come on. There you go. So before I ran him over, I probably should have taken cover. I knew I was just assuming an attack was coming. There you go. At least one of the saw dogs is down. How many hit points does she have for crying out loud? Taking their six. Yeah, good thing is I got lots of rangers here to help us. Um, Alright, what do we got here? Can I have a turn, please? No. Nope. 84. Okay. I'd like to see actually how much. Oh, shit just got real. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Okay. Uh. She's got 1259. Holy smokes. Okay. Uh. Beethoven's gonna run over here. Get behind there, and she's gonna. Let a little bit of that happen. Oh, she got another shot in there too. We're a 364. Nice. Okay. Okay, and then she's gonna conserve that. Okay. Quan. Quan is going to run around here. And then Quan is going to uh, demoralize. Do you even know how fucked you are? Uh, looks like demoralize did not take effect on either one of those things. Saw pup, I'm not too worried about. But let's do that. Okay, Doc, you're gonna eat yourselves a little stir fried pork. is going to run around here. Unfortunately, I kind of smoked myself on that, so... Alright, I need to know, can she get over here, here, or here? Okay, she can run over here. And then she is going to lay down the reed. Yep. Precision attack here. To the head. Okay. Tim Roll, you're gonna eat a pork bun. You're gonna run around here. And puncturing shot. Do I can I get a puncturing shot? It takes five, okay, never mind. We'll do that next time. Okay, good. Could just go full melee. Okay, he's gonna step out of the fire here, and then that's gonna open it up that defensive area. Okay, that saw dog's gonna come back here. 
she's gonna come around and try and do something. I can't do anything. Okay, healing up. Okay. Is that it? Nope. Okay, they're going back and forth. Okay, so that. I don't know what that's doing. Oh, she's throwing down more saw dogs. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, so. Not much. Come on, there we go. Pop it down. There it is. Okay, there's. So we got two more saw dogs to deal with here. Good. Luckily, our rangers are tending to do a really good job on these saw dogs. I think I did pick some of the two, two people over to the other one instead of uh, because I got more of the saw dogs. She she launches those saw dogs a lot. So okay. Vator. Get a forty percent. Sixty-seven. There's a ninety-one. If I move over here, but I'm only gonna get one shot. That's okay though. Vator's. I don't want her back there anyways. So she's gonna run around here, get some cover, and then. We got a lucky shot and dropped her. Okay. Good, okay. Quan. Flip over here. Yep. We are gonna 25% on that. 30% chance to reduce the target's damage. 75% to inflict shock. I think I might go with that one. Yeah, let's do that one. This is hydraulics. And it looks like he's shocked. And then you're gonna run around this side. Okay. Doc. Let's uh, you got 61 or you got 49 there. 71 if I pop around here first. Okay, so let's do that. Doc, you're gonna lay into oops. Hold on, cancel. The Reagan's gaze. Oh, I should be using this. Three. Okay, and then nuke strike. Okay, not yet. Tamaral. <laughs> You're gonna run around this side. Alright. Doc. I'd like to drop a little nuke on these two little saw dogs here. <laughs> We're all irradiated though. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Alright. You're gonna flip over to this as well and. Okay. I think you're good here. What are you at? Ra radiant removed by no glow. Okay, so negative 30% max con. Okay, so good to know. We need to set that nuke off a little farther back <laughs> next time. Okay, we're learning. We're learning about this stuff. Okay, uh, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, he's got a 5% attack chance there. Or you can go here and get a 95%. And he's going to foil on this guy a little bit. There's one. There's two. Need that thing to charge up faster. Three, okay. And then Lucia's got a 49, 39, 79 if she moves here. Let's do that, because I don't want to have the 50, 50. She even missed on the 79. There's that though. Okay, and she's gonna just move back here a little bit. It's just a one fire. Okay, that saw dog is firing. Come on. No, oh, that was an ambush person. Okay, good. Boy, saw dog. Oh, he's playing saw dogs too. Okay. Okay, that saw dog's down. 
Good thing we're at our base. We can go in and get some no glow. All right, there we go. Take this guy down. Taking their six. Thanks, Private O'Neill. Sniper. Nice. See, I want that guy's weapon. That's a freaking cow right there. He's got a BMW. I, I, I better be able to pick that one up this time. Come on. There it is. Okay. This is the scour, flamethrower, and a tactical armor. Junk, junk, okay. And then, what's up here? Did this thing all get looted? Nope, we still have some loot too. Shock mace, uh, 55 to 66, that's not bad. And some tactical armor, capacitor, there's the bunch of junk. Junk, junk, and junk. All right. Well, okay. Well, I guess that resolved Little Vegas it. stays open, and Brigo owes us a favor. Smart. Thanks, Brad Kerr. I thought so too. All right. Let's go in here and have the doc come patch us all up. Uh, Betsy. Yep. I'll talk to you in a second. Don't worry about that. It's so private. The machines at the airport decided you were okay. Ranger what do you need, Rangers? All right, uh, I'd like to get past That's up. what you pay me for. Have a seat. Cool. We are all healed up. And run. Fine. Okay. Just don't get shot up out there and make more work for me. All right, let's go check out. Stay right. sharp. All right, let's see here. Can I do, 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 put something in here? Okay, now the vault, uh, the door guarding this vault is enormous and recessed into the wall. Walls, floors, and ceiling. It appears that it can only be opened with a numeric keypad on the wall several feet away. Uh, enter the number La Perla told you. Enter the code, press enter, the door begins to slide open. Okay. So we've got. Okay, so we can see there's more doors and crates back behind here, but we just have this one weapon crate here. Which is going to give us a PDA. This stuff frees up your brain to focus on more important stuff like what or who to have for lunch. Nerd stuff. And then we get some tank armor, helmet, and legs. So, for Doc, who is our nerd stuff person, right? Skills, he's doing nerd stuff. Yeah, so that would give us up to uh, seven nerd stuff. That's not too bad. And let's see here. What are we at here on this? Um, I think we're going to pop up our coordination. That gets coordination eight. And then where are we at on, uh, I figure while we're here, we'll just do this stuff here. Um, we still, I still haven't seen a door that's higher than single point se uh, seven yet. So not worried about that. Same thing with sneaky shit. We should be able to see that stuff before and then add the points to it if we need to. Automatic weapons. The only thing is this last perk, which is trigger happy. Once they pop, you just can't stop. Is that going to get us... Killing an enemy with an automatic weapon gives you plus three AP. It's not going to give us a full another shot, but it may allow us to take an extra shot if we still have one AP left on our gun, right? Because these are four AP and four AP on the assault rifles. So that might not be a bad thing is to max this. Well, I can't max the automatic weapons out. And if I do that, okay, so I'm going to hold off because uh, I don't want to spend five on this yet until I have enough to pop.
pop something in lockpicking or sneaky shit with that. So we'll hold off on that right there. And I think we're going to hold off on spending any perks right now. Um, because we may actually look up. Yeah, okay. Anyways, I think we're good here. Okay, anyone else go up a level? Yeah, Cyclops did. Okay. Cyclops. Cyclops, you're good on intelligence right now, I think. I think we want to work your coordination up because he's got that heavy machine gun now. He needs to have more action points. And so let's start working that up. And yep. And big guns. Could do that. We also have explosives. We're gonna. Yeah, I wish I hadn't invested so much in small arms. Um, big guns and melee combat would have been nicer. I could, could bump up the melee, but um, I think we're good there for right now. What's he got for perks? On big guns, if I went up to seven, um, pressure cooker. Uh, they wanted to hide inside their vehicle. It's only fair you give them a hot box. Okay, this is flamethrowers on vehicles. I haven't fought against any vehicles yet, so I'm gonna hold on to that. I really do want to get to hunker or for a steady shot, which gives us a plus 20% evasion and plus 10% hit chance in low cover when using a heavy machine gun. So this is anywhere where you got a half cover, which you have a lot of that. And now it's not a bad one either. So maybe we do start moving big guns up. There's nothing here I think I need to have. And again, I haven't found any explosives that I can't disarm either. So I'm going to start working the this up. This is going to just add to our hit chance as well. So we'll keep doing that. And then um, and hold on to know until we get up to here to eight when we get steady steady uh, steady shot so I don't think there's anything in here better better passive bonuses and better that but ah uh, yeah and repairing for, okay yeah I, I think I'm good with the perks for right now there's nothing in here that I really really want to have so and then Lucia you didn't you didn't get anything up either so okay good all right, well, there's this. Okay, let's keep looking around here. I'm not ready to make a decision if we're gonna really screw, you know, really go the full, almost chaotic neutral route. Um, what we got here is uh, Private Brandon. Hope you catch that victory kid soon. We hurt somebody. It's a lot of weird, people are clothed weirdly. All right, Joey Bag of Nuts. Like I can finally breed over bag of, here. Bag of donuts. Fucking refugees. About time. All right, what do you got in stock? Let me show you. What do we got in stock here? Don't have a lot of money. Get the. Okay, we got this guy. Uh, I'm not seeing. We still got the red dragon. I'm not really seeing an updated uh, sniper rifle, am I? Nothing better than what we have. I, I want a 50 cal, but I'm not. That's not showing up in here. Um, the sound suppressor. We can pick up one of these things. So let's go ahead and sell our junk. Ah, it didn't get us a whole lot. We didn't get lucky on a on anything there. We do have these purples. I'm almost thinking to um, yeah. I'm almost thinking do we say do we break them down because we'll get a bunch of junk that'll give us a higher chance to get a plus fifty you know get those extra fifty dollar uh, junk items. We didn't get anything that was in our normal junk items that is not that. We could probably sell some of this stuff too, um, like. 
I don't know how many of these group groups we're gonna need, but it's a plus. So this one's a plus 15% crit chance, hit chance. We can sell some of these off. I'll leave us two there. Uh, cone angle. We'll sell one of those guys. We're not gonna need that. Um, we'll keep those around. We'll sell a couple of these heavy weights as well. So one of these plasma capsules. I think that's pretty good there. That helps us out. Uh, let's see. What else can we get rid of? I think we can get rid of the frozen ferrets. We're not doing that. We sold that guy. We got 14 rockets. We need to start using more of those guys. Um, we got the PDA for nerd stuff. We got a bunch of these things. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Then I think the other piece we need to do is just look at um, evaluate our guns here. So we got a 1911. I, I think what I'm going to do is instead of doing this, because I'm going to get a lot more junk and I have a, a chance. Of, I know it's a low chance, but I think selling the junk is probably a better. And then I can maybe get some upgrades for these things. And those upgrades will, will potentially uh, sell for better too. So, all right. So, I got the pulse rifle here. This is a pulse gun. So, who doesn't have a pulse gun? He's got the sniper rifle. That's gonna good. That's good for there. He's got a pulse gun. She's got Reagan's gaze, which. Uh, goes against robots, synths, and vehicles way better than um, that than our other one. Uh, he does not. He's using the heavy. Uh, do I have a heavy? Scour. I have that, which is probably a little bit better, but. Yeah, so that's that's fine there, and then she's got both frostbite and this revolver, so we're, I think we're good there as well. So the revol the phase blaster is good. So when we are looking at close back, get back to this thing. Oh, I guess we're in there. Okay, so this phase gun we don't need, so we're gonna go ahead and field strip this. Scrap uh, waste rifle. I think we've gone beyond waste, waste rifles, so we're going to field strip this guy as well. We got a wide choke out of that. Uh, battle rifle, I think we've also gone beyond battle rifles. We're going to get the, uh, the, so the lead sprayer. I think we're done with, uh, ooh, we got an alloy barrel too. Um, I think we're done with SMGs totally, so this lead sprayer is going to go. And let's see here, the Emancipator. We'll hold on to the Auto Shotgun Emancipator and the Last Chance, just in case they're they're tier two. They're they're kind of nice um, ones. But then this Punk Buster, we can field strip this guy. We're not using shotguns a whole lot anymore. Um, let's see, Army Revolver, uh, 63 to 76. That yeah, well, let's see here, 51 to 62, 63 to 76. 44 to 55 against synths. Uh, this army revolver, I think we can field strip this guy out. And the 1911, we can get rid of that one too. Got another brooch field rifle. Okay, uh, the red dragon, I think we can field strip these, this guy. Because we have the better Got an extended mag off that too. So this guy is just the neutron projector is just all around better, right? We already compared that one. So let's go ahead and field strip the red dragon. And the mega sniper or the mega scope, sorry, mega scope. Um I I hate getting rid of these gold ones. I'm afraid that there's going to be something about this one, but here maybe we'll, let's let's get rid of the megascope. Let's let's see what happens with it. Actually, no, 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 no. I, I'm not going to get rid of it. Never mind. We'll get rid of the purples. You know, it'd be nice if those gold ones would give you if you scrapped if you got rid of them. Oh, nice new barrel. Um, 
if you could get some sort of special mod off of those, that'd be kind of neat. Uh, but that's eh, probably would make the game easier. Too easy. Uh, okay, these army machine guns. We can field strip these guys because we already have an. Uh, we got the light squad machine gun. Twenty-four to. Yeah, so 24 to 31 versus 23 to 31. Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna continue to use the light squad versus these uh, heavy machine guns. The light squad is just a better better weapon. Okay, so we'll continue to deal strip this guy. Deal strip that guy. Okay, now we got another Bren. It's funny that we got a cylinder choke, which is a shotgun mod off of a machine gun. All right, uh, this guy, this guy, this guy, this army flamethrower can go. Don't need that. Uh, let's see, we got the law rocket. Uh, okay, yep, that's all we got here. Shock mace. It needs melee six, sixty-one to forty-seven, or sixty-one to seventy-four, and this is fifty-three to seventy-four. About the same as the dental pick. That guy we can get rid of. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, the shock mace works good against robots, vehicles, and synths, which just is that. Okay, so. Maybe I hold on to the shock mace for a while. Okay, okay, cool. Now we should have a crap ton of scrap. Okay, do we have a whole bunch more stuff? These guys are not my favorite. But these guys get plus four damage. That gives plus two damage, so we can definitely put those guys on here. We're not going to need these cylinder chokes as much, so we are going to sell some of these guys off. Make maybe three of them. Crit chance. Oh. If this thing didn't have a negative five meter range on it, it would be perfect. Um, but we can do the plus four damage on some stuff. That would be good. Okay. All right. Let's go back. Let's sell some more stuff off. Hey, it's the ranges. Let me show you. Joy bag of donuts. Uh, okay. Scroll down here. Uh, I'm not going to use these guys as much. I prefer these ones here. They have no downside, even though this has a higher max damage and a plus two penetration. We'll hold on to them for certain things. Um, let's see. Cylinder choke, cylinder choke. So let's get rid of that, that, and that. Two of those guys, two of those guys. I also one of the heavy weights. And I think we're good there. And then, is there anything else we need to sell out of here? Tank armor, tank legs, tactical armor. I think I'm going to sell one of these tactical armors. I think I'm good on armors, really. Um, I'll hold a set of tank legs and that, and tactical with the trooper helmet. And I'll hold one of these ones back. Okay. But the rest of this stuff I think is we're good. I'm kind of thinking about selling this one of these helmets, but we'll see. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull the trigger on selling this right now. Um, okay, what else do we have here? That's a four meter range on the scope. Crit damage plus one point one X. Uh Barrel mod, but I wouldn't be able to use the other one. Range two meters. That's for shotgun and flamethrowers. That's the full choke. Three pen and plus twenty percent sneak attack damage. That would be really good for my opening round on Vator here. So if I modify this guy. Got a magazine right now. I could do that's a barrel mod, so I can't do this and the other at the same time. Uh, 
This would bring it down to 19 meter range. That would be kind of that would kind of suck um, for that scope. Uh, I could compensate it with a with a better barrel. So what do we have in here for? Uh, oh, so the scope adds the range here. Nah, see, that's too bad. And then this is a barrel with plus three pen and plus twenty percent. That I think I want that. I think I want that over the. Um, is that opening salvo will hopefully one shot these guys. Let's pick up this guy. Oh, and then let's sell junk too. Seriously, that didn't hard to give me anything. Okay. Uh, alright. Um, alright, so we can throw this guy's plus three, and that's that. This would go there. Instead of the plus four damage, because I, I want that twenty percent bump up in sneak attack damage, so that'll be good. So that open shot would be a great, great over. And then uh, this is a scope, plus three crit chance. Crit chance is fourteen. That'll take it up to seventeen. If I do that one, that'll take it up to twenty-four. But again, it drops my range down to nineteen, so it's going to be a little shorter range for. Tour. I like that long range though. Let's hold off on this for like right now. Uh, I'm gonna throw on this one. That bumps up to 17%. It's almost a one in five, one in six chance. Wish it was a little higher. If I thrown this, if I threw this one on instead, uh, the range goes to 19, but it's almost a one in four chance for a crit. But I like that longer range. hold off for right now. I'm going to cancel out for right now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to hold off for, for a minute on this because I want to, uh, uh, I, I may, I may do some different things on this one. Okay. So anyways, yeah, sorry. I'm a little indecisive on this stuff, but I think, um, yeah, I, I'm just really not happy with it. I, I, I know there's got to be a better sniper rifle out there for me to use. In fact, one of the rangers outside in that last battle was uh, using Rangers. a 50 cal, so I Rangers. need that. All right, let's uh, talk to Betsy here, see what she has to say, and this will be our next uh, quest we go off on. The woman is stout as a kettle, grim-faced and hatchet-nosed. Her clothes are plain, but judging by their cleanliness, they may be the best she owns. Rangers, my name's Betsy. If you don't mind, we've got a request for you. Me and the girls here... We got family who were arrested a while back and put to hard labor at the Patriarch's work camp. Mm -hmm. Thing is, we've no clue where it is. And the marshals won't say a lick on the subject. She falls into an expectant silence. Okay, uh, and you want us to go free your people? Nah. Most of them deserve what they got. We don't have any issue with that. But knowing where they are? Oh, well, that'd help us sleep better at night. Figure out where they're holding our loved ones. That's all we're asking you for. And we'll damn well pay you for the privilege. All right, we'll do it. Uh, her face gentles and it becomes clear that Betsy isn't half as old as she appears. Find Frank Papas in downtown, I guess in Colorado Springs. I wish we had more for you to work with, but the only thing we got is a name. Frank Pappas was a Pappas. marshal in charge of shipping folks to the work camp. 
Any idea where Pappas is now? All we know is that he's retired and living somewhere downtown. Okay. Uh, does Pappas have any friends or family who can help us find him? Someone at the Marshall Station might know something. They won't tell us anything. Hmm. But you might be luckier. Marshall don't much like us, but uh, we'll uh, we'll see how it works out. Uh, when we find this work camp, we'll let you know. We'll be waiting. No need to notify the civvies, but Frank's been taking his retirement at the Sands Lux Apartments. Never went far from the Marshalls. Hmm. Okay, so good. Uh, Quan kind of knows where he's at, so we'll go check the Sand Lux Apartments. Daisy always kept the work camp pretty hush-hush. Most of us didn't know a thing about it, except that it's somewhere outside the city. Old Frank is ornery, but we can make him talk. Cool. All right. So we looks like we have the next set of things for us to do. Um, but that is going to have to be something we do in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed this episode as much as I did making it. If you did, please leave a like down below. Hit the subscribe button. A little bell icon will notify you when I release new videos. This is a daily series, so you will get that notification every single day. And until tomorrow, I wish you all well. Bye. Terrible Swiss sword, his truth is marching.